for the interest of time, we're going to try to perform an abbreviated version of the standing postural exam. Patients, stand in front of your doctors and doctors stand behind your patients. We're going to observe the hips and the knees and the ankles as well as the medial arches. Let's start with the angle of inclination at the hips. You're going to draw an imaginary angle formed by the anatomic axis of the femoral shaft and the longitudinal axis of the femur. If your angle is about in between 120 to 135 degrees, that is a normal angle of inclination. If the angle is less than 120 degrees, we call this coxiveris. If we have angle greater than 135 degrees, we call this coxivalgus. Let's look at the knee angulations. Draw an imaginary angle via the axis going through the femur as well as the tibia. Genuvarum is an angular deformity at the knee where the apex of the deformity points away from the midline. Sometimes we call this bow legs. Genuvalgum is an angular deformity at the knee where the apex of the deformity points towards the midline. We sometimes call this knock knees. Now let's look at the ankles, more specifically the calcaneus. If the calcaneus pointing laterally, we call this eversion. If the calcaneus is pointing Immediately, we call this inversion. Finally, let's look at the medial arches. Patients, you can turn towards your doctors, and doctors, we're going to take a look at your patient's medial arches. Observe and see if you can describe if the arch is increased or decreased. If the arch is more than one centimeter is elevated from the ground, that is described as pes cavus. If the arch is absent or minimal, we call that pes planus.